The Breckenridge parking structure is back on the agenda at tonight's town council meeting. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a Summit Middle School student arrested last week for allegedly posting threatening notes in a school bathroom was in court this week, but District Attorney Bruce Brown cannot comment on any charges filed against the 13-year-old or specifics of the case, citing the student's age. Brown confirms his office handles at least one case of underage school threats per year, saying most resolve without criminal charges. State statute limits public info on juveniles to violent crime or unlawful sexual behavior. Summit County Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons reminds parents there is no current threat to students or staff. Nothing can be done about these spontaneous random acts of school violence, but uh, just so you know, we disrupt threats all the time. The ones we know about, we disrupt. Brown expects this case to proceed with no criminal charges. Arapahoe Basin is getting at least one bonus weekend. A Basin announced this morning it will stay open through June 9th, one week longer than scheduled, making the most of a 71-inch base for the longest season in Colorado at eight months. Last season, A Basin closed June 3rd. There is no weekday service during the bonus week, but A Basin is not alone for June skiing. Killington in Vermont and Mammoth Mountain in California are open through mid-June. Squaw Valley in Tahoe is open through July 7th with 682 inches. Eisenhower Tunnel traffic dropped to 96,100 vehicles over the weekend, about 2,000 cars fewer than last weekend, and the third straight week with totals under 100,000 vehicles Friday through Sunday. Spring traffic peaked in March with 147,500 vehicles over St. Patrick's Day weekend, just about the population of Fort Collins on I-70, nearly 54% busier than traffic the past three weeks. The hotly contested and long-awaited Breckenridge parking structure is on tonight's town council agenda when council is asked to approve a long-term lease with Vail Resorts for the South Gondola lot, the first step in making that structure a reality. Construction is scheduled to begin in August 2020 for 950 spaces in a multi-level structure. The town oversees construction, maintenance, and summer parking. Vail Resorts manages winter parking and rates. Early estimates show the structure will generate $1 million in revenue annually. No estimate yet on project cost. Tonight, is a first reading. Brett Council is also weighing a measure to swap land with Summit School District, trading two units in the Blue 52 neighborhood and a 10-acre undeveloped parcel for 8.7 acres next to the airport lot. Tonight's meeting is open to the public at Town Hall on Ski Hill Road beginning at 7 p.m. In sports, the Rockies played the Red Sox today in Boston at 5:10. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Spring sports season is finished for varsity teams. This weekend, Summit Girls Rugby takes a 15 squad to Nationals in Glendale on the Front Range for the first time since 2016. The Vail Whitewater Series on Gore Creek continues this afternoon with on-site registration at 4:30 in Vail Village and racing at 5:30. Kayaks up and raft races continue weekly through early June. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.